Assalamualaikum dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nibs home school i am sabrina hok assistant teacher of science national rural english version school district dear students today i am going to take a science class for class 5 student on the based on short question answer and creative question answer so let us move forward to today's topic sorry dear students the topic will be chapter 10 Chapter 10 short question answer and competency based question answer The name of the chapter is information in our life First short question is we receive a lot of information every day give three names of device for storing information The answer is three names of storing device of storing information are first one pen drive second one cd third one dvd Second question is what are the technologies that enable us to exchange information the answer is the technologies that enable us to exchange information are email short message service that is sms social networking service that is sns like facebook or twitter through the internet number 3 question number 3 is why is information important the answer information is very important for our life because it enables us to know something new and to do decide what to do now come to question number 4 internet enable us to collect information more easily what is internet the answer is the internet is a huge network of computer together all over the world the answer, question number 5 name three major search engines used in bangladesh The answer is name of three major search engines used in Bangladesh. First one Google, second one Yahoo, third one Piplika. Piplika is the Bengali search engine, and Google is the most used and common search engine in our country. Now come to next question. Shafiq wants to store some educational video clips. Give two examples of data storage technologies that can be helpful to Shafiq. The answer. two examples of data storage technologies are first one pen drive and second one memory card and that question is similar to the question number 1 now come to the next question you want to search some information on internet give three examples of search engine that you can use in this regard the answer is three search engines that i can use are google yahoo and piplika and that question answer is similar to question answer of 5 now come to question number 8 why is information important for our life answer is by enriching our store of in knowledge information helps us learn new things decide what to do so information is very important for our life now question number 9 give examples where internet can be used the answer is Internet can be used for information collection, information exchange, buying ticket of bus, train or plane, online shopping, etc. You can give more examples when you are using the internet. Now come to question number 10. Give three examples of information technology. The answer is three examples of information technology are first one internet, second one computer, third one mobile phone. Now come to question number eleven. What is internet? Answer is the internet is a huge network of computer together all over the world. We can get information more from anywhere through internet, and this is similar to question number four. Now come to last co- short question. What is exchange of information? The answer is exchange of information is an activity through which information is shared among friends families and other peoples now come to competence based question answer the first question is you get the information that a cyclone is coming towards bangladesh from tv what, what will you do the answer is if i get information that cyclone is coming towards bangladesh first i will inform my friends relative and the people who whom i know directly through some media like email facebook i will tell them to do following things first one to collect children from school or child care center and go home and second one to park vehicle under uh, from the school or child care center or that will be to 
parked vehicle. And second, uh, third one, to pick warm clothes, essential medication, baby formula and nappies. Fourth one, to put wooden or plastic outdoor furniture in the pool or inside with other loose items. Third and fifth one, and to remain indoor uh, and stay <coughs> tuned to local radio. TV or further information for further information and I will uh, help them to do these things as my I as, as much I can now come to next question we can collect information in many ways explain how to collect information through the internet now come to the answer information collection through internet we can collect information by using books newspaper tv or radio the internet enables us to collect information more easily the internet is a huge network of computers together all over the world we can collect information through the internet by using computers or mobile phones using <coughs> following steps first step is use search engines such as google yahoo pipilika Second one, type keywords relevant to the topic and click search, press the enter key on keyboard. Now come to question, uh, third step, search through the list of web pages to find the information we need. And last step, repeat above three steps as necessary or choose new keywords that are more or less specific and thus search the information we need. Now come to next competency based question. Why do we need to acquire the proper skill to find, understand, evaluate and understand use information? Now come to the answer. It is true that to find, understand, evaluate and use information we need to acquire the proper skill. This term is known as informa uh, information literacy. It is important for today's learners. It promotes problem solving approaches and thinking skills, asking questions and seeking answers, finding information, forming <coughs> opinions, evaluating sources and making decisions on fostering successful learner children and young people not only need to be able to read the, for the information they also need to be able to work out what trust they should place on the information and to identify when and how people are aiming to influence them if we do not know, uh, know how to find and understand information then we will not be able to know what is needed for us and that is why all of us need to be skilled dear student this is your homework number seven you have to write short question number two and cbq number two as your homework number seven and you have to submit on saturday from 9 a.m to 3 p.m dear students learn the question answer and this chapter is more or less known to you in your present situation. So thank you. Allah Hafiz.